now it's 10.39 and it's already 40 participants. Can we start now, Mr. Okay. All right. Let's start. Go. The Go first participant is already there. Okay. Mm, Naya and Kenu, are you ready? All right. So uh, we can start, yeah, Mr. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Come on, Naya Ken. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, all my friends. Welcome to virtual English speech competition from for grade nine. Let us introduce ourselves. My name is Naya from nine B, and I am Kenu from eight B, and we're going to be the master of the ceremony for this competition. Before we start, let's say basmalah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Next, we're going to read the rules and regulation of speech competition. So please pay attention carefully. First, the judges are Mr. Fatah and Ms. Leah. Second, the finalists have to deliver the speech on the Zoom meeting about environmental conservation. Third, a formal dress is allowed. Next, Time allocated to deliver the speech is three to five minutes. If the time is almost five minutes, the timekeeper, Ms. Tami, will raise hand virtually on the Zoom 30 seconds before end. The finalists must show their face fully on the Zoom meeting camera. The finalists are prohibited to read the story while presenting it. Make sure your devices such as microphone, laptop, and internet connection are in a good condition and ready to go. The final list will be graded by the judges based on the scoring rubric. Six winners will be chosen as category. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth place. So without further ado, let's start this competition and give it up for the first participant of this competition. For Anya from grade 9A, the stage is yours. Good luck. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. To the honorable judges, Mr. and Ms., participants, and all of my beloved friends. First and foremost, let us praise and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings mercy, and guidance so that we can all gather in this place and attend this event without any obstacles. Salat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for guiding us to the light. I would also like to express my gratitude for the opportunity given to me to join this competition with my other fellow participants. Before I start my speech, I'd like to introduce myself. Greetings, everyone. My name is Anya Sasabila Rasha, and I am one of the representatives from Class 9A. Today, I'm going to be delivering a short speech regarding the environment around us during the pandemic era. Ladies and gentlemen, the environment plays a pivotal role in the existence and development of all living things on earth, and above all, in the daily life of mankind. For the quality of life that people lead, the condition of the environment is very significant. During this pandemic era, most of the environmental issues are related to the government policies. From a few cases on environmental issues, it can be seen that the implementation of the new normal does not have a real effect. Let's try to take a simple example. Because we're still living side by side the COVID-19 pandemic, we'll definitely throw our mask away after we go out or use hand sanitizer after touching objects or surfaces, taking shower to clean ourselves and many other activities. With the appearance and rising of the new variety Omicron, more people will have to use masks to go outside and bring their hand sanitizers everywhere they go. This means that the waste disposal of masks and plastic bottles of sanitizer will increase. Why? Well, because again, let's see this habit from another side. Let's see this habit from another side. Do these actions help? our environment? Do they by any chance stop these waste disposal or water pollution? I believe not. 
ladies and gentlemen, this is just a simple, a small example of anything that is happening during this pandemic era. What can we do to stop all these things? Well, my solution is staying home with your family and friends, maybe, is a way to help. Why? Because not only that you're saving other people's lives by not going outside and wandering everywhere, you can stay inside with your family and friends in house. That way you can stop the plastic bottles from actually getting waste or mass. Also, you can try to stop the tap water from running if you're brushing your teeth or like just washing your hands with soap in general. I'm sure by these small actions, we can try to stop this waste disposal and water pollution. By this, I'm sure that the environment can be safe and again, be better for the better future. Unfortunately, anything must come to an end. I'm sorry to say, ladies and gentlemen, but for now, my speech has has to end there. I am very sorry and the deepest apology if I did anything wrong. Thank you for your time and attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wow, thank you, Anya, for your speech. So we're going to the next participant of this competition is Sawa Khairuna from 9C. The stage is yours. Sorry, Sorry, Sarah, yeah, yeah. Sarah, not in Zoom. You can uh, go to the next participant. Okay, then yeah. we're going to skip the contestant. So moving on to the next contestant is Parves from 9C. Sam is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, my name is Arves from 9C. I hope you all good. My presentation on health environment. Health environment is clean and comfortable. How to keep our environment clean and comfortable? Number one, throw the trash in the in the garbage can. Number two, discipline in cleaning the environment around us such as at home, school, and public place. Number three, make a cleaning picket schedule. Number four, do reforestation or plant crops. Number five, separation of organic waste and inorganic waste. Organic waste is waste that rots quickly and can be composted such as leftovers, vegetables, and fruits. Inorganic waste is waste that is not easily destroyed and can be recycled, such as plastic pegging, plastic drink bottle and cups, paper, and plastic toys. So my explanation, hopefully it can be useful for all. Stay safe and keep healthy. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Our first for your speech, the next participant is Atanda from 9A. The time is yours. Thank you for the time. First of all, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm thankful for the opportunities that everyone has given me to perform my speech. First of all, hello everyone, greetings. My name is Atandra Chagaza Nugraha and I'm from grade 9A. And today, I'll be talking about my speech, which is called the Environmental Shenanigans. First of all, to the honor of the principal, the teachers and the friends I care about. First of all, let us express our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given our hearts giving us help during this pandemic era so we can all meet in today's speech competition. Not forgetting the sour and salam for our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for he has guided us from the wrong path to the right path. Now, but 
is entering or probably already is is um, is on an environmental crisis. This problem has started since the industrial revolution and has grown worse since then. Worse enough to rise the, uh, the temperature for approximately around 0 0.08 degrees Celsius each decade. This 1% rise in temperature is hot enough to melt glaciers and cause animals and plants to go extinct around the world. Human excesses have created many animals to go extinct too, such as the recently go extinct the African wild rhino who went extinct in 2019. Excesses have created many pollution and have worsened earth environment, such as the use of petrol-based vehicles to the massive deforestation for houses and woods. If this keeps going on, Earth will become more contaminated, ranging from soil pollution, water pollution, air pollution, creating ozone holes, which is the only thing that's keeping us alive from being engulfed by our own parent star. And worse, Earth can be led to its own extinction era, which can wipe out most of its species, living only for the strongest and most adaptive to survive. Either that or Earth will become a barren wasteland just like how Venus is. So, of course, we have to save it, right? It's simple, just like every single speech. We have to recycle and reduce waste, reduce the use of petrol based vehicles, reduce the use of AC and any aerosol. And also, we can help the current donation that is about to save the environment. Of course, not only us, but also many people are also doing stuff to help out our dying ecosystem. Such as an eco agreement between countries and the previously running team trees that was carried out by famous, by famous YouTubers and influencers around the world. So let, uh, let all of us help our one and only home planet, even though NASA are searching for another Earth-like planet we can call home, but that doesn't mean we want to leave this one a barren wasteland, doesn't it? And so, uh, thank you for your attention for hearing my imperfect speech. Sorry for everything that I have, everything, every wrongdoing that I have done during this speech, and thanks for your all attention. And stay safe. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alexander. Thank you, Atandra, for the speech. That was a really nice one. Moving on to the next contestant is from 90. Uh, Shafiq, the stage is yours. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. To the honorable, the judges, and the teachers in this competition, and also my dear friends. Uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Muhammad Shahid Al Azami, and I'm from Nancy. So today, in this opportunity, I will give a speech about conserving our environment. Before I start my speech, let's say thanks for the presence of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, who has given us a health and opportunity so we can meet in this meeting. To the honorable, the judges, and the teachers in this competition, and also my dear friends, environment is very important for our life. But do we know what is environment? Environment is the habitat of living things. Without environment that uh, has many natural resources like uh, oxygen, plants, animals, or materials like a coal and oil, it will be it will make us difficult to live. Conserving our environment can actually be done by starting from ourselves. To the honorable judges and the teachers in this competition, and also my dear friends, conserving the environment must be done by everyone without a section. But until now, there are still many people who don't take care of their environment, so it can lead us. Uh, to bad things like a food caused by littering, the forest lead to illegal filling of fridge, which, which can make uh, the air become less clean or even like a food. Dirty environment that can make us to get sick, like the oxygen we breathe is polluted by air pollution. So it will disturb our health, like getting uh, asthma, acute, acute respiratory infection or airy, or even like a heart attack. This thing will interfere our daily life and activities. So that's why we have to conserving our environment. 
However, we can still take care of our environment by doing some positive things like planting and preserve, uh, preserving our plants, save the use of military resources, keep the environment clean and comfortable, throw the, throw the garbage in its place, and use the product that can be recycled, and much more ways to conserving our environment. If we have uh, done uh, doing that uh, of that, there will be several benefits that we will get, like a uh, clean and comfortable environment and uh, fresh air. With that fresh air and clean and comfortable environment, we can raise our mood to uh, make us doing some activities. So yeah, that's all of my speech about conserving our environment. I apologize if there's any mistake from my speech or my spelling in English. I hope my speech will be useful to us to conserving our environment. So that's all from me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Shafiq, for your speech. So we're going to the next participant of this competition. For now, fall from 9B, the floor is yours. No file, not in Zoom. Okay, next participant, Kenu. Okay, the next participant is from grade 9A. Salwa Atifa. The stage is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I'd like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving his blessings. We all can attend this Zoom meeting today. I'd also like to thank the judges Mr. Fatah and Ms. Leah for giving me this opportunity to deliver another speech. So I'd like to introduce myself. Hello everyone, my name is Awa Maria Matifa from grade 9A. And as we all know, our earth now isn't as healthy as it was. The global warming happening here causes increasement in our Earth's temperature. This makes our days feel hotter than usual. So what causes the global warming and how do we prevent it? Some of the things that causes global warming are deforestation, the use of transportation, and overconsuming. Deforestation is when a lot of trees are cut down in order to make space for residential, industrial, and or commercial projects. When these trees are cut down, we lose one of our oxygen so source. The use of transportation can also cause global warming. Most cars, motorcycles, ships, and planes run on fossil fuels. When these fuels are burned, it releases carbon dioxide as a waste. Then these carbon dioxides can ruin our atmosphere layer, causing the earth to warm up. Overconsuming on a daily basis can also be a cause of global warming. Excessive use of electricity, water, food, and clothes can harm the planet. These things can leave waste, especially clothes when usually it is packed using single-use plastic that can take years and years to decompose. To prevent these things happening, we can start reducing the use of electricity at home, start walking, cycling, or take public transport rather than private vehicle, sorting out our trash into organic plastic, metal, glass, and paper, also developing the habit of reducing, reusing, repair, and recycling. We can also start planting trees in our backyard or even indoor, such as in the living room, the dining room, and your bedroom. Saying no to single-use plastic is a way to go. Buying materials that can be used multiple times, also using eco-friendly plastic substitute in our daily life, such as cassava bags, bamboo, and glass. That is all for my speech. I hope this speech can motivate people to start conserving our environment. I'm sorry if there's any mispronunciation. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Sawa, for your speech. We're going to the next participant for Meza from 9C. The stage is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Judges in this competition, the Honorable Ladies and Gentlemen, and my beloved friends. First, we have to give thanks to Allah who has given us health and mercy so we can attend this competition even by using Zoom meeting. Uh, before I start to get into uh, the today's talk, I will introduce myself first. My name is Ramizel Lenguho and I'm from Grade 9C. In this opportunity, I will talk about uh, the environmental uh, sustainability. The environment is the residence of all living things uh, on Earth, such as human, animal, and plant, uh, which we must uh, maintain it. The environment is uh, very important for the survival of living things uh, because if the environment doesn't exist, um, uh, then human, animal, and plant uh, cannot survive. Uh, however, as we can see now, the environment has been damaged uh, by irresponsible human activities, such as the first one, uh, cutting trees down illegally, uh, and they don't replanting the trees, so the forest uh, become barren and the soil cannot absorb water, uh, which can cause flooding. Uh, the second one, uh, continuous coal mining, can cause uh, the dredged soil to run out and be damaged. The third one, uh, dispose of garbage uh, mm -hmm. carelessly, inappropriately, which can lead to flooding. And the last one, um, use of motorized vehicles and uh, industrial establishment that uh, cause a factory fume in greenhouse, uh, resulting in air pollution and warming temperature on Earth. Human action can be fatal and we must avoid it for the sake of nature uh, preservation and for this, uh, and for the survival of the big things. Uh, therefore, uh, the natural disaster uh, don't repeat continuously on this earth, uh, which has provided abandoned nature uh, and is a form of our gratitude to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, who has created this universe. Um, so we must uh, protect and preserve uh, this environment, starting from the beginning. And now that it's by the first one, uh, by re reforestation or replanting uh, the forest um, that has been uh, due to uh, being cut down by humans. Uh, the second one, uh, saving uh, water and um, electricity consumption. Uh, the third one, um, dispose of garbage in its place. And the last one, reducing air pollution, uh, such as uh, use um, environment, environmentally uh, friendly uh, vehicles, such as a bicycle or a walking. And I think that the speech that I can convey and, have fully, and hopefully can be useful and applied in our daily life. Sorry if there are mistakes uh, from my speech. Uh, thank you for all your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for uh, your speech. So the next contestant is from grade 9C. Please give it up for Hanif. The stage is yours. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. First of all, first of all um, to start this page, let us thank to the Almighty God first for giving us hope at this moment so that we can attend this competition. Second of all, please allow me to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Samara Niftipdari and I'm from grade 9C. And today in this opportunity, I wanted to tell you guys about a speech about environmental conservation. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we've all heard of about um, environmental conservation. It is a responsibility we all must take part in in order to keep our earth safe. But what would happen if we neglect the responsibility and ignore consequences that comes along with it? And so here are a few um, phenomena phenomena that uh, may occur if we continue to dismiss the importance of environmental conservation. Starting with the first one, uh, the first phenomenon that can occur is the extinction of flora and fauna. This phenomenon can occur if we continue to destroy ecosystems and habitats of living things so that they have no place to live and will end up in extinction. extinction. And then the second phenomenon is that um, I bring is a air pollution. This could happen if we don't uh, preserve the usage of trees and also excessive uses of uh, fossil fuel. And then the last one is the third one, soil pollution. 
This happened because of the large amount of plastic waste that doesn't uh, compose. Yeah, does not compose. And because of that, the soil pollution happens. So those are some of the examples of the phenomenon that could happen if we dismiss the importance, uh, importance of a environmental conservation. So now that we have some of the cases or problems that could happen, these are some of the ways to solve those cases or problems. Starting with the first one again, it's actually the simplest one. The simplest one, yeah, we're kind of still like bad at handling it and it's um, to not litter. So if we don't stop littering, this can be damaging because there is a lot of waste that is made by humans, such as like plastic waste and so other, and also disposed of carelessly by humans, which is not easily um, biodegradable, which in the end, this causes damage and also uh, pollutes the habits of creatures or other living things. And in the end, this is also one of the reasons for the extinction of living things or flora and fauna. And then the second one is the, uh, to plant more trees around us. We all know that trees can clean the air by absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen so that the air pollution or carbon dioxide that we uh, created can be absorbed and can create new oxygen from the trees planted around us. And in the last one, but not the least, the third one is to separate plastic waste so that it can be recycled. As we know, plastic can only uh, decompose in about like 10 to like 500 years. So if we don't recycle uh, the plastic, plastic will continue to uh, accumulate and can cause like soil pollution. And so those were some of the things we can do to preserve our environment. And I know there are many other ways and other problems that can occur if we forget the importance of preserving the environment. But also, I hope that um, with some of the example of problems and solutions that I gave earlier, we can be more aware of the importance of um, environmental conservation and can bring our current environment be cleaner and better in the future. And okay, I think that's all for me. I'm sorry if I made any mistake, but Anyways, thank you all for listening to my important speech. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Honey, for your speech. The next participant is from 9B. So, Fio, let's go. The time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. My name is Fio from Grade 9B. So today I want to present about what we can do to protect the environment. But first, let me explain about what environmental conservation is. Environmental conservation is an effort to protect the environment from many destruction, conserving the infer environment. Environment doesn't mean that humans shouldn't take advantage to the of the environment we can do we can do the environment conservation but in a good way like planting some plants don't hunt living things around and and don't destroy it just take care of them so basically we must use environmental proper proper environment properly and responsibility to maintain its sustainability and health the way effort to preserve the environment can produce an ecosystem that can be accompanied by generation. The purpose of the environment conservation is to maintain cleanliness and environmental sustainability so that it doesn't become extinct. Can prevent disaster, provide comfortable natural condition for the health of living things around, prevent prevent global warming or prevent negative impact on the surrounding environment. What we can do to protect the environment Environment are safe energy, don't, don't litter around, don't burn trash, using recycled products, and planting some plant or do like go green. These activities, if we do it, we provide many advantages to protect the environment. Okay, I think that's all from me. I apologize if I did something wrong. Thank you for your attention and listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you, Fio, for your amazing speech. We're going to the next participant of this competition is Alicia from 9C. The time is yours. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The honorable judges and officers, and my beloved friends. First of all, let us offer thanks for the presence of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Because of His mercy and blessing, we can gather in this place in good health. Also, let's deliver salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who has brought us from the darkness to the brightness. My name is Ali Siap Trisama, and I would like to give a speech about environmental conservation. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in an environment, and we have to keep the place where we live. So keep the environment is important. But nowadays, many people destroy the environment just for their own benefit. They don't think that their act can be a big trouble for our earth. And it can't be left alone. If we just let it be, a disaster like flood, like flood, and other just will come for us. So what can we do now? If we want a good and healthy environment, we have to protect it and fix it if it destroys. So all we have to do is doing an environmental conservation. It's just a little act and an easy thing, but many people don't care about it. The example of environmental conservation is not littering, growing plants, using a recycled product, safe energy, and other. However, doing an environmental conservation alone is not enough. The more for people is better. If we do this together, we can make a big effect and change the environment to be better. After doing an environmental conservation, we can feel the benefit, like the environment will be more healthier, the environment will have less pollution, our life will be more comfortable, we will avoid it from illness and many more. Ladies and gentlemen, the benefit of doing an environmental conservation will be felt if we done it right, and it can be felt of many on many people. In order of that, let's be try to doing an environmental conservation from now on. So that's all for my speech today. I hope it can be useful for all of us. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So the next uh, participant is from 9B. Figo, please, the stage is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello Hi. everyone, Hi. thank you for having me. My name is Figo from 9B. I'm going to be speaking to you today about the environmental conservation. To begin with, I would like to invite everyone to look around and see what is our contribution to environmental conservation. As we have seen on TV or in our real life, there are so many natural disasters like flood, earthquake, wildfire happening now. Those disasters caused by our unsustainable activities such as wasting food, water, using one use plastic, deforestation, which causes habitat, habitat loss for animals, and many more. As youth generation, it is important for us to participate in environmental conservation action by starting doing this simple thing, such as 1. Reduce, reuse, recycle. 2. Stop using plastic bag and start using reusable bag. 3. Planet tree, because tree provide food and oxygen. And the last one is dispose garbage properly. That's all I want to share. Protecting our planet start with you. Let's make it happen together. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Figo, for your speech. We're going to the next participant. So for Nira from 9A, the stage is yours. Thank you, Naya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I want to thank the judges, teachers, and my beloved friends for giving me the honor to be here and deliver my speech. Hi everyone, I'm Nira from 9A and today I will be delivering a speech. The title for my speech is Why Preserving the Environment is Important. But before I deliver my speech, I would like to invite us all to thank Allah the Almighty who has given us blessing and mercy so we can be together in this Zoom meeting. Not forgetting salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad, who has bring us from the darkness to the brightness. Moving on to my speech, on this delightful day, I would like to talk about the reasons why preserving the environment is important. But before that, I want to explain a little bit about environmental conservation. Environmental conservation basically means protecting our environment. Environmental conservation is our practice as humans to save the environment from the loss of species, mainly due to the pollution and human activities. 
Now, moving on to the main question, why is preserving the environment important? The answer is simple, because if the environment does not exist, then humans, animals, and plants cannot survive. So what can we as humans do to preserve the environment? There are lots of things that we can do, and they're simple to do as well, like not throwing trash in the river, not burning trash, saving energy, using recycled products, planting trees, and burn poaching. There are also police issues by the government regarding environmental conservation, like law number no. four of 1982, concerning basic provisions for environmental management. With us making efforts that we can do in preserving the environment, of course, there are benefits that we get as well, like avoiding disease caused by an unhealthy environment, free from air pollution, water being cleaner and safer to drink, and more calm in carrying out daily activities. But there are also consequences if we do not perceive the environment, such as natural disease, environmental pollution, environmental damage, disease, and reduced natural resources. So now we understand why preserving the environment is important. So from now on, let's prevent, preserve the environment and enjoy the benefits afterwards. I think that is all for my speech today. More or less, please forgive me. Thank you so much for the time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you for your speech. Uh, there was a really good one. And that concludes our speech can for today. Can wait, wait, can wait. Yes. We still have yeah. one more participant. Okay, so for Sawa Hayuna from 9C, the time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. To the honorable judges, teachers, and fellow participants. First and foremost, let us all thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings and mercy. May salawat and salam be with our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Before I start my speech, I'd like to introduce myself. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rashadia Salwa Khairuna, and I am representatives from 9C. So, say climate change and see how most people react. I find it's a bit like sustainable development, a phrase at which many people quietly glaze over and switch off. So here's my first point. Don't switch off. Climate change isn't just words. It is a real thing. And man-made climate change is a very scary real thing. The rise in global temperature over the last several decades is a matter of public record. It is an overwhelming scientific consensus that it can only be explained by one thing, the rise in greenhouse gas emissions caused by human activities. Some people say that climate change is natural and we shouldn't worry about it. Well, the answer to that is we have indeed had natural occurring climate change since the earth was formed. But none of the natural causes of climate change variation from the sun's output, the tilt of the earth, volcanic activities, or emissions from rotting vegetation can account for the warming we observe today. There is only one thing that can explain. The emissions from fossil fuels caused by human activities over the last 200 years. The concentration of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere have increased by nearly 30% since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. My second big point is one that bears constant repetition. If we don't tackle climate change and global warming, very bad things will happen. Sea levels will rise significantly by up to a meter in places by 2100. As waters warm and take up more space and our glaciers and land-based ice sheets melt, sea, levels, uh, sea level rise is particularly scary because while other climate change driven effects like extreme flooding or drought can do terrible harm, recovery from them is still somewhat possible. But there is no recovery from a rising sea. It takes land, communities, infrastructure, and everything else away forever. All of these changes in climate will have consequences, such as, one, 
more frequent and more extreme flooding and coastal erosion. Two, more water shortages and higher drought risk. Three, more frequent and more extreme fires and wildfires. Four, more extreme uh, air and water pollution. And last but not least, number five, more damage to wildlife and the habitat on which it depends. Do we really not need to care? For our own sake, please, we need to care about the conservation of our environment. Let us all band together and save our earth for the greater good, for the better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am afraid that is all I have for today. I am deeply sorry for any mistakes that I might have made. Thank you for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, uh, Salwa, for your speech. And I hope that that is, I hope she is actually the last contestant. Okay, and that concludes our speech competition for today. And six winners will be announced tomorrow. Mm. We do apologize if we make any mistakes as a master of the ceremony today. Before we close the event, let's say Alhamdulillah together. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bisa malam? Oh, Oke. Okay. Again, thank you very much to Tanaya and Kinu. Um, it brings uh, experience for you all. And it is kind of a step to higher level of hosting program, ya. Yeah? Uh, that's my my a prayer for you for Kenu and Tanaya who knows that both of you are interested in the uh, broadcasting field or maybe uh, 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 entertainment industry something like that yes uh, and to all the participants to all the finalists of speech contest from grade 9 um, Uh, thank you very much for uh, joining this program because Mr. Pata is the chief of the committee and then uh, all of you have prepared, uh, prepared well to deliver the speech and of course uh, it will be uh, the best six and those who are not uh, belong to that big six don't worry the future still long long way for you all and for those who become the best six also never satisfied because in the higher level there will be more challenge and then more opportunity to develop your english skills and to grab your future that's for me mr miss amalia thank you very much yes, thank you so much mr Pata. i already want to say thanks because uh massive thanks to tanaya and kenu yeah for being master ceremony today and also for the participants of the ninth grade and also for the audiences that are already uh, coming today yeah uh, i i want to say uh much thanks to you all I hope that this even if it's new or uh, it's new experience or not for you. I hope uh, in your senior high school you can be brighter than now. Yeah, I hope you can be more confident. You can take advantage from this uh, competition, yeah, and then uh, you can take something, and then you can uh, develop your skill in your senior high school next. And do not ever uh, be shy. Okay. Than ever be shy and just be confident. You can do it. Yeah, be brave. Okay, uh, uh, that's all from me, Mr. Pata. Thank you so much, Red Nine, for the result for the winners. We can uh, announce it tomorrow morning. Please, you can join Zoom at seven.
yeah okay uh, the common teacher will give the link to you all yeah i think that's all great time. thank you so much for the participation you can just leave the zoom right now thank you bye bye thank bye. you and uh, can leave the zoom Thank you, Miss Ria, Mr. Fatma. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ria. Thank you, Mr. Ria. Good luck, ya. Okay, Miss Ria, thank you so much, Miss Ria. Okay, bersalam. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Miss Ria. Thank you, Mr. Fatma. Yes, apa? Anita. Apa ganteng kamu? Korea, Mr. Fatma. Okay. Yes, Kenu. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kenu. Yes, Ma. Dan ada Rico Alhani. Tadi kita kita miss dua ya. Naufal sama Pio ya. Ya, Naufal dan Pio. Ayasa sakit. Oh, Ayasa. Pio non. Ayasa. Pio ada tadi. Oh, berarti saya salah input nanti Amal tinggal. Oh, ini Papa tak salah input. Okay. Bapak-bapak ini kita diskusinya di sini aja, atau nanti ini ada Alsani. Alsani, you can leave the Zoom right now. Iya dong. Alsani tidur. Alsani ya. Alsani, why don't you join Alsan? Iya. I send you the photo for grade 9 result, oke? Oke. Iya, iya. Wait, wait. Wait. Miss Lea.